The following presentation may contain too many cat jokes. Viewer discretion is advised. This presentation is rated CJ, Cat Jokes. Parental guidance suggested. <laughs> Drei Ecken, drei Ecken hat mein Hut. Und hat er mir nicht drei Ecken, dann ist es nicht mein Hut. Well, 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 it's time for another Opa's Corner. So, let's get started. A shy priest greets the wedding guests to the chapel. He's very nervous and doesn't say much. As the couple approach the altar, the priest steps up and gives the best speech anyone has ever heard. He's full of confidence, incredibly expressive, and has everyone in fits of laughter. After the vows, the priest is extremely shy and barely says a word to anyone. The groom approaches him and asks, why are you so shy? You seemed like a different person when you were giving that speech. I know, but that's just my alter ego. A father wanted to prove that he's not just some boring house dad. So he went and got his first tattoo. When he got home, he excitedly showed it off to his wife and kids. Oh, cool! It's, uh... His wife asked. It's my thermos! From work! His daughter starts to reach out towards him and says, Well, uh... The line work is certainly... He slaps her hand away and says, Don't touch the thermos tat! Fred came home from college in tears. Mom, am I adopted? No, of course not. Why would you think such a thing? Fred showed her his genealogy DNA test results. He had no match with any of his relatives and a strong match for a family who lived on the other side of the city. Perturbed, his mother called her husband. Honey, Fred has done a DNA test, and, and, and I don't know how to say this, he may not be our son. Well, obvious. What do you mean? It was your idea in the first place. You remember that first night in the hospital when the baby did nothing but scream and cry and scream and cry and on and on? and you asked me to change him. I picked a good one, I reckon. Ever so proud of Fred. A fleeing Taliban fighter, desperate for water, was lost in the Afghanistan desert when he saw something far off in the distance. Hoping to find water, he hurried towards the object, only to find a little old Jewish man at a small stand selling ties. The Taliban fighter asks, Do you have water? I have no water. Would you like to buy a tie? They're only five dollars. Idiot! I don't need an overpriced tie. I need water. I should kill you, but I must find water first. Okay. It doesn't matter that you don't want to buy a tie and that you hate me. I will show you that I'm bigger than that. If you continue over that hill to the east for about two miles, you will find a lovely restaurant. It has all the ice cold water you need. Salam. Muttering, the Taliban fighter staggers away over the hill. Several hours later, he staggered back, almost dead. 
Your brother won't let me in without a tie. A couple go for a meal at a Chinese restaurant and order the chicken surprise. The waiter brings the meal, served in a lidded cast iron pot. Just as the wife is about to serve herself, the lid of the pot rises slightly, and she briefly sees two beady little eyes looking around before the lid slams back down. Good grief! Did you see that? She asks her husband. He hadn't, so she asks him to take a look in the pot. He reaches for it, and again, the lid rises, and he sees two little eyes looking around before it slams down. Rather perturbed, he calls the waiter over and explains what is happening and demands an explanation. Please, sir, says the waiter, what did you order? The husband replies, chicken surprise. Ah, so sorry, says the waiter. I bring you Peking duck. A wife asks her programmer husband to go to the store. She asks him, Can you go down to the grocery store and get a gallon of milk? And if they have eggs, get six. Later on, he returns home, and she looks at the purchases and says, Why in the world did you buy six gallons of milk? He responded, They had eggs! A man absolutely hated his wife's cat and decided to get rid of him one day by driving him 20 blocks from his home and leaving him at the park. As he was getting home, the cat was walking up the driveway. The next day, he decided to drive the cat 40 blocks away. He put the beast out and headed home. Driving back up his driveway, there was the cat. He kept taking the cat further and further, and the cat would always beat him home. At last, he decided to drive a few miles away, turn right, then left, past a bridge, then right again, and another right, until he reached what he thought was a safe distance from his home and left the cat there. Hours later, the man calls home to his wife. Jen, is the cat there? Yes, the wife answers. Why do you ask? Frustrated, the man answered. Put him on the phone. I'm lost and need directions. And now for the funnies. <laughs> it's that dream again where I'm being chased by an old guy in a white suit who thinks he's a colonel. I let him think this patio door is shut for just another couple of seconds. They should do Easter boxes. That would be ideal. Wolf in sheep's underwear. I'm sorry you had to find out this way, but this is me, Lisa. This is who I am. Arm extensions. And lo, the angel spoken to Buster, saying, Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Yes, you are. Have a cookie.
Places to throw up. Bedroom, yep. Bathroom, yep. Guest room, yep. Kitchen, yep. Den, yep. Living room, yep. Dining room. What a day. I helped out with five arrests. I guided my blind friend around the entire city. I chewed a hole in the couch. It's not personal. We just decided it was time to hit the supply chain. Wild bird food. One day, I climbed up there and found out there's a dog that lives on top of that dresser. You know, son, this is the dawning of the age of asparagus, age of asparagus, asparagus, asparagus. It's true. We do shrink as we get older. I'm cold. Give me a cat. In a dark alley, Mr. Clean and Scrubbing Bubble eyeball their next victim, but this was no ordinary opponent. The real reason for extinction. What a day! The sun is shining, the bees are buzzing, let's climb a trellis! I had to marry a morning glory. You could go at any time now. Ha! I did it! I lived my whole life without ever once using algebra! I watched it already, but I'll watch it again. A spot on the wall. You fool! I said chocolate rabbits! He was an Easter egg. Fifty year tour. Ready, Keith? Start me up, Mick. Early attempts at the milkshake. Looks like the victim was brutally sliced into multiple pieces. It's over here, Sarge. Can't you at least try to relax and enjoy our vacation? No, I'm sure I forgot to knock the candle off the mantle before we left. La Llamas at home. L look out, L Larry. It's the L landlord.
I just looked up our ancestry, Doreen. You're not going to believe where we came from. I'll have a kid's happy meal. I'll have the cranky old bastard's misery meal. Cat personal trainers. That's right. Now turn around, lie down, then stretch out so you're pressing every key at once. If you need any help with your prescription, our trained staff are happy to pry open your mouth and force it down your throat. Live long and prosper. And that's Opa's Corner for this week. My hoot, der hat drei Ecken. Drei Ecken hat mein Hut. Und hat er nicht drei Ecken, dann ist es nicht mein Hut. Opa's Corner is now available on my own YouTube channel. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>